Hello everyone, this is Spencer from Buildapreneur. Um, I've been getting a ton of questions lately that all kind of revolve around the same idea and I'm realizing that a lot of people don't understand just a few concepts that could really push their funnel building um, and accelerate it. And so I am going to show you how I build funnels and, uh, and hopefully this helps you a lot. The first question I'm getting is people are saying, which funnel do I pick, right? They get in and ClickFunnels kind of has their pre-built funnel templates and they're like, well, it's kind of like this, what I'm, my idea is, but it's kind of like this funnel. Um, to me, every funnel is unique, um, almost. Webinar funnels tend to be pretty similar, and there's a few other ones that are similar. But most funnels, and most of the time when you're coming into me, it's a unique funnel. So you go to add new, and uh, and you're looking through these, and you're like, it kind of is a lead generation, and it's kind of like an e-commerce funnel, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> so I go to classic funnel builder right here, and then I click create a custom funnel, okay? And the reason I do that is it gives me it gives me all the power. And you, for you for this to work, you need to understand the concept of funnels. And for that to happen, you need to read .com secrets. Okay. So if you haven't read .com secrets, go get it. Listen to the audio book if you like that way. Um, it's like a four hour audio book, or a you know you could read it in a couple hours probably. Um, but the book you you, you cannot use click funnels effectively without understanding the concepts in .com secrets. Okay. The two combined. Whoa, powerful, but without one or the other, not that great, okay? So this is my custom funnel. It starts by just throwing in an opt-in page, um, and then you can choose the template, okay? Now, one thing to know, and one thing that a lot of people don't understand is up here, there's different page types, okay? And not only when I click these, will it give me different templates? Like if I click sales page, it'll give me some sales page templates. Um, if I click order form, it'll give me some order form templates. That's not the only thing. These pages are actually built, they're, they're coded to be able to do the things that they say they do. So the, the most important thing here is this order form page. See sales order form. If you're gonna be taking credit card information, it needs to be an order form page. Uh, that, that needs to be the page type, okay? Because that page has been coded to take to give you products and to take credit card for those products. Um, and if you you can you can technically add a credit card form to an opt-in page, but it's not going to work, okay? Um, so I'm just going to build a really quick standard funnel. Most funnels look something like this conceptually, okay? So we have an opt-in page. They opt in, they give us their email address, and then there's a sales page, okay? So they opt in, they go to the next page. It says, hey, we're going to send you that in an email but we're going to give you an offer now that you're here, um, and then we proceed to do a sales page, okay? So I go to sales page and I choose a sales page template. Now, I can customize the page 100% to look exactly like I want. Um, oh, I just messed up and chose a sales page for the opt-in page. So let's add a new step. <laughs> Make it a true opt-in page, path, opt-in page, pave. Um, okay, and this will be a true opt-in page where I click and select an actual email opt-in template, okay? And then, just to fix my mistake, I'm sorry, I'm going to click and drag this up, okay? So they have an opt-in page where they put in their email address, and then they have a sales page where we say, that's great, and we start to try to sell them something, okay? Typically, somewhere on that sales page, there's a button that we've set to go on to the next page of the funnel, and that button says, yes, I want that order now and then the settings on that button send them to the next page. So then, that next page is the order form page, okay? So we wanna add a new step, order form. Create final step, and sales order form page, okay? And we can do whatever, we, we, we can use one of their templates, we can use our own template. What matters is it's gotta be that order form page type, okay, for ClickFunnels to understand. Um, so let's just select this basic order form template, okay? Now, it, this is where ClickFunnels becomes really, really powerful, and that is these other two page types here. So that's OTO, which is a one-time offer, okay? This is where we try to maximize how much we've made off each of our customers. So this page, this one-click upsell, I'm not sure what I said, this one-click upsell page, we're gonna click that, and there's a couple templates for that. What it is, is it's a button that goes on this page. So after they put in their credit card information, they come to this page, and there's one button. There's a video or some text, and there's one button, and it says, yes, add to my order. Okay, it's that easy. If they click that one button, their credit card is charged, and they're off the races, okay? So that's why it's so cool, because a lot of people click this button. You're surprised how many people. It's such an easy thing to do. They're already in the buying mood. They're already putting in credit card information, and now just one more button, and they can add something to their order. 
and a lot, no, I'm, I'm gonna say a lot, but I mean like 10, usually 10, 15, 20% will, will add this to their order, okay? But it needs to be the right page type. It needs to be a one-click upsell page type so that that button can be programmed right, okay? Um, so this page type is set to be able to allow people in a funnel to click a button and it charges that credit card that was in the previous funnel step. So you, uh, one time offer. And then a typical funnel, once again, we're just following like a typical funnel. We'll have a downsell. And this is for people that don't want the, the OTO. They say, mm, there's, you know, there's a button that says, yes, add to my order. And then there's a button right beneath it that's already on the template that says, no, thanks, I'm not interested. And then what it's going to do is it's going to take them straight to the downsell page. And this says, okay, that's fine. And it will downsell them something cheaper. Maybe it's a portion of your product. Maybe it's a, a payment plan. Oh, do you want to try a payment plan? Um, whatever it is, it's a, it's a different offer that kind of like, takes these people that weren't willing to spend that much and do that. And so if they click add to my order, it, add, it, it charges their credit card and it sends them past the downsell page to the next step in the funnel. If they click, no, I'm not interested, then it sends them to the downsell page where they can click yes or no on that page. And then finally, let's say we have a final page, which will be a thank you page. Like, hey, thanks so much for your purchase. Um, you have the option of doing an order confirmation page. I usually just make my own simple thank you page and you can just even do an opt-in thank you page right here. Hey, thanks so much. <clears throat> Whatever you bought will be emailed over to you and you'll be good to go from there. Okay, so this is a, a, a basic standard normal funnel, okay? Um, don't let that name confuse you. This is a sales page, even though it says opt-in page. So we have an opt-in page, we have a sales page, we have an option for them to order, we have a one-time upsell where we offer them, gosh, I keep calling that a one-click upsell, um, where we offer them something in addition to their order, okay? And then if they buy that, it sends them to the thank you page. If they don't buy that, then it sends them straight to the downsell page where we offer them another cheaper product. Okay, and the whole idea here is we, we want to s make money off as many people as are coming through our funnel as we can. Okay, and then in the end, everybody ends up at this thank you page and, uh, and you, you hopefully will have set everything up along this process so it's emailing them out or sending out their products, uh, whatever those may be. Um, so that is a simple sales funnel. That's how I do my sales funnels um, as opposed to using their templates. Um, and like I said, you've got to read Dotcom Secrets to get that and to understand that concept. And uh, I, I hope this, this helps a lot of people that are, that are asking me that question because um, I literally get asked it every day, which, which funnel is right for me? And I don't know which funnel is right for you. I customize every funnel I've made. And that's primarily because maybe I'm just an old fogey. When I signed up for ClickFunnels, there were no templates and stuff. It was like create a custom funnel. Um, so I've just kind of stuck with that and it makes more sense to me. Um, but you can do the same thing. You can take the funnel that they give you, ClickFunnels gives you the, the template, and then you can adjust it, maybe add and you know drag things around a little and do what you want to make it work. But, but this is a funnel. Um, I hope it makes sense. And thank you so much for watching.